Good post, Mr. Tangent. <clears throat> um, I've made a video about this, friends, just to let you know. I'm not going to throw out any names. I don't, I don't know. I don't check all the chains. I don't know everything. Just hearing stuff. But they're doing this on Ethereum. And how do I know? In Landwolf, we are getting attacked by vampires. What they do is, you check what they're doing is these, these evil scammers, they, they're launching a new coin every week. And whatever residual income yield farming they get from stealing people they will take that money out and they will extract it they'll take they'll take it for themselves and then they'll go funnel it back into one main big scam coin so that's what they'll do is they'll do they'll keep running projects together they're like hey let's do a project half of it goes into our original rug which is eventually going to be a rug and the other half we just take out i'm this i'm just i'm not saying this is happening on pulse chain for sure i'm just saying just be careful of that because if they keep launching coins, they keep going down, that means it's people who keep buying in new stuff. Money gets extracted out and they either bridge back into USDC and they just fuck off in the whole chain or they're funneling it back to like one of their main home coins to do that. But they're, they're basically, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. They're, they're basically robbing one person to pay, to pay their own ones. They're not actually creating anything with product market fit because there's no... There's no community. There's no proof of work. There's no proof of loyalty, proof of work. It's just, it might be hypes and launches and then, okay, you're left to fend for yourself. Oh, it doesn't work because of you. And what they might do is, friends, if it doesn't work out, they will uh, they'll gaslight the community go, oh, it's this guy's coin and it didn't work out. So that's it's his problem. You know, oh, he, he disappointed us. And, uh, oh, we thought he was going to do something right, but he didn't. But it's all part of the plan, friends. This is all. This is just. This is humans and communities organizing. And there's a. They, they call it the fallout guy. It happens in politics. You know what I mean? There's always got to be one guy. Like, we got to send one guy to jail. But for, who's the fallout guy? Just pick one. Yeah, pick one of them. We got to send them out. That's. That's pretty much what happens here. And this is unfortunately this is a sign of cannibalization because there's there's not enough new money coming in. The well has run dry. So now people are falling their own little cliques and gangs and stuff to try to do that. And, but yeah, here's the thing. We all win if people are actually putting in work to establish uh, communities that keep growing and fostering. If you're just constantly doing launches that have the pump and dump stuff, what they're doing is they're focusing all their energy and their money to spend for the launch hype, which means give me the maximum price up so I can dump with my insider friends and then we see you later, later on. Organic communities don't have a hyped up launch. They just launch and it's everything up to the community. And so it has to grow with organic roots and organic effort. If you don't get that, friends, unfortunately, you get what we have because it's all about incentives. Okay? Don't ever forget that. It's all about incentives. It is, okay, are you incentivized to make the price go up now? Or are you demonstrating to us that you are here making memes, making culture, doing stuff, growing organically over time? That's what you want. Because as you get to know, friends, a token launch is one and done and that's it. It's almost like a marriage, right? The wedding day is just one day. Yay! And then everything else, okay, now the real commitment to life starts after that. That's pretty much it's the exact same thing here. Are they married to the community? Are they making a community that they want to marry? Or is it just like, hey, look at my wedding day. Oh, my gosh, what a hype launch. So I'm just opening your eyes into what's going on, friends. And guess what? New people don't give a shit anyway. They're going to keep losing. It's just me, me, my friends, and everybody in the friendship cult. I'm just showing you there's a difference between the fundamentals, okay, with something that has a proof of work, proof of loyalty, proof of commitment, that type of stuff. That's strong. And then you have like, oh, it feels like you're just kind of aligning yourself to just throw hype in one marketing one thing. Now, once again, I don't have any specific names or whatever. I hope everything works out. You want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, but I'm helping you identify the filter. Okay, I'm showing you the filter. I'm also wearing a bubbles or hat, so none of this is financial advice. Catch you soon.